Hi, this is Rob. These are the six problems we will solve in this video. Problem one, press the green alpha button, then the window button. We want number two, summation, so press the two button. We want to enter a variable. The variable button is here, so press this variable button. It does not matter that the TID4 variable is at x and the problem has a variable of n. Enter a 1, then press the right arrow button. Enter a 50, press the right arrow button. Enter the variable x, press the right arrow button. To get the answer, press the enter button. And there's the answer. To write the answer in summation notation, write a s, and then write the number of terms here. The number of terms for this problem is going to be 50 minus whatever the number is here, in this case a 1. Then add plus 1, which equals 50. So s 50 equals 1275. To clarify the number of terms, say we had this problem. Summation from 3 to 6. The terms would be 3, 4, 5, and 6. Four different terms. So 6 minus whatever the number is here, in this case a 3, plus 1 equals 4. Four terms. As a reminder, if you're getting any value from this video, please give it a thumbs up. I will press the clear button to clear the home screen. Problem number two. Press the green alpha button, then the window button. We want number two summation, so press the two button. We want to enter a variable. The variable button is here, so press this variable button. It does not matter that the TID4 variable is at x and the problem has a variable of n. Enter a 51, then press the right arrow button. Enter 100, press the right arrow button. Enter a 2x, press the right arrow button. To get the answer, press the enter button. And there is the answer. To write the answer in summation notation, write a s, and then write the number of terms here. The number of terms for this problem is going to be 100 minus whatever the number is here, in this case 51, then add plus 1, which equals 50. So s 50 equals 7550. I will press the clear button to clear the home screen. Problem number three, press the green alpha button, then the window button. We want number two, summation, so press the two button. We want to enter a variable. The variable button is here, so press the variable button. It does not matter that the TID4 variable is an X, and the problem has a variable of an N. Enter a 75, then press the right arrow button. Enter a 500, press the right arrow button. Enter a x plus 6, press the right arrow button. To get the answer, press the enter button. And there is the answer. To write the answer in summation notation, write a s, and then write the number of terms here. The number of terms for this problem is going to be 500 minus whatever the number is here, in this case is 75, then add plus 1, which equals 426. So S 426 equals 125,031. I will press the clear button to clear the home screen. Problem number 4. Press the green alpha button, then the window button. We want number 2, summation, so press the 2 button. We want to enter a variable. The variable button is here, so press this variable button. It does not matter that the TID4 variable is at x and the problem has a variable of n. Enter a 100, then press the right arrow button. Enter a 250, press the right arrow button. Enter a 600 minus x. Press the right arrow button. To get the answer, press the enter button. And there is the answer. 
to write the answer in summation notation, write a S, and then write the number of terms here. The number of terms for this problem is going to be 250 minus whatever the number is in here, in this case 100. Then add plus 1, which equals 151. So S 151 equals 64,175. I will press the clear button to clear the home screen. Problem number five. Press the green alpha button, then the window button. We want number two summation, so press the two button. We want to enter a variable. The variable button is here, so press the variable button. It does not matter that the TID4 variable is a X and the problem has a variable of N. Enter 11, then press the right arrow button, enter a 30, press the right arrow button, enter a X, press the right arrow button, enter a minus sign, press the green alpha button, then the window button. We want number two summation, so press the two button, enter a X, Enter a 1, then press the right arrow button. Enter a 10. Press the right arrow button. Enter a X. Press the right arrow button. To get the answer, press the Enter button. And there is the answer. To write the answer in summation notation, write a S. When doing a problem like this, you do not need to write the number of terms down here. Just write a S equals in the answer. So S equals 355. I will press the clear button to clear the home screen. Problem number six. Press the green alpha button, then the window button. We want number two summation, so press the two button. We want to enter a variable. The variable button is here, so press this variable button. It does not matter that the TID4 variable is at X and the problem has a variable of N. Enter a 3, then press the right arrow button. Enter a 7, press the right arrow button. Enter a open parentheses, X plus 1. Close parentheses. With problems like this, you want to use parentheses as much as possible. Make sure that you get the right answer. Enter a divided by sign. Open parentheses. X minus 2. Close parentheses. Press the right arrow button. To get the answer, press the Enter button. And there is the answer. You can convert this decimal number into a fraction. Press the green alpha button, then the y equals button. We want number 3, so press the 3 button. This will take the answer here and convert it to a fraction. Press the enter button. There's the answer. This is an improper fraction because the numerator is larger than the denominator. We can repeat the steps to change this to a mixed number fraction. Press the green alpha button, then the y equals button. We want number 3 again, so press the 3 button. To get the mixed number fraction, press the enter button. There is the answer. Okay, that is it. If you like this video, please give a thumbs up and please subscribe to this channel.